Mm-hmm. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do real well. And I want to say Shalom and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. Shalom. I'm the brother Yara. I am the brother Ma. All right, and uh, and uh, we just wanted to do a quick lesson through the Spirit, and uh, Lord willing, it's edifying to the body and feed the sheep. Um, so this is a video that uh, um, the uh, the head of the camp here in the GMS Fortress, Wisconsin, um, actually uh, recommended that brothers uh, check out. This is a video by Wale. It's called Sue Me. All right, I'm not gonna play the video. I just have you know pretty much just I just pretty much have it on screen, and um, pretty much when you watch the video, you know uh, uh, um. You know what what I got from it when I watched the video was you know pretty much just a, it's it's a prequel to uh, um, 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 the a uh, condition of Esau you see what I'm saying and, and 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 his rank you know what I mean the rank that he's gonna have in our kingdom you know which is gonna be you know pretty much the rank that we have in his kingdom you know and it, and 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 it's gonna be a, you know a reversal of roles you know so. You know, I mean, even though the setting is pretty much, uh, you know, still it looks like his setting because our, you know, our our uh, uh, um, kingdom is going to be, you know, more, more beautiful, more marvelous. You know, it's, it's going to be something that has never been seen. You know, um, so, you know, we just wanted to get some scriptures and just, you know, uh, um, um, Lord willing, it's edifying. So, first, I'm going to get the scripture. Let me just. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 2. It says, well, no, oh, Salakia, like right here. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 2. It says, and the people shall take them, all right, and, and those people being the the Israelites, okay, because our, our kingdom is next, our, you know, our kingdom is up next. So it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and for handmaids, you know, and, and the land of the Lord is going to be uh, uh, um, um, Israel. OK. And it says uh, 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 for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captive. They shall take them captives who captives they were and shall rule over their oppressors. Right. And right now our, our oppressors are, you know, the Edomites, man, the so-called white men. OK. So, you know, the higher up, the the the, the elites, you know. So, you know, it's going to be, it, you know, like, like I said, when I watched the video, you know, and, and brothers can check it out, you know, I'll leave, I'll leave a link inside of the uh, description box. You know, I don't want to play the video because I don't want to get uh, flagged. So when you watch the video, you know, it's, it's pretty much just a reversal of roles, you know what I mean? So it's like a prequel to what's to come, you know. Uh, uh. You know, that's the, uh, the Lord going to put all these curses that we under, uh, you know, upon our enemies, you know, particularly uh, Esau, even the so-called white man. All right, and I got a uh, precept, say, uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 7. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies, all right, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. All right, and that goes perfectly uh, with that Isaiah 14, you know, because right now we under the curses. You know, when you read in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, talk about all the blessings that we will have from the beginning, and then around verse 15, they talk about the curses. So, but all those same curses uh, that we under right now, it's going to, Esau going to get it. And that's what that video was displaying uh, quite clearly, you know. Like the brother said, even though it was in, you know, the setting was uh, still here in like America City or whatever. But in the kingdom, you know, it's, hey, you're going to be uh, persecuted, you know, because he persecuted us. Con, con, you know. And, um, you know, this is um, another scripture here. It's out of the book of Job, chapter 14 and verse 5. It says, seeing his days are determined. And, and whose, whose days is this talking about? It's, it's talking about Esau's, Esau's days, man. You know, because we are living in the last days, you know. And, 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 and you know, it's pretty much the last days of Esau's queendom, man. His, 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 his uh, rulership, you know, his grasp upon the world, man. You know, and it says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Okay, so 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 the Lord, the Lord pretty much sets up, you know, or, or so like it has pretty much set up every 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 kingdom. Okay, and every uh, uh um 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 different nation has ruled has ruled in those kingdoms. Okay, but 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 for a certain time period, 
You see, and Esau's time is running out, man. You know, we're at the last few seconds, man. Lord willing, you know. But but with these with with how these prophecies are lining up, you know, in the mark of the beast, pretty much not, you know, being being at the front door, you see, that that we know through the spirit, you know, that that his that that uh, his uh, rulership is almost up, man. That is right. Uh, this is in uh, Second Ezra chapter six and nine. It says, uh, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." Right? And that's a major indicator that we at the end of the world, man, because Esau is ruling. We go in uh, Job nine and twenty four. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, and, hey, and that's the reason why the earth is out of course right now. All right, so the Lord is coming back to return uh, that balance back to the planet. You know, and turn everything right side up, so to speak. You know, and put uh, Esau uh, uh, under us, man, where he, where he belong. You know, con con. Yeah. You got it. Oh, select. You know, uh, let me see. All right, that's, that's a good time to bring that one out, though. Yeah, yeah, con, con. This is uh, the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 17. It says, This matter is is by the decree of the watchers and the, and, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to, to, to the intent that the living may know the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. You see, and, you know, just like what what, um, what I mentioned earlier, you know, the Lord ruleth in 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 the kingdom of man, any 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 kingdom in in history that has been set up, you know, the Lord ruled over that kingdom, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it says, um, um, and and giveth and giveth it to whomever he will, you know, and it says, and and set up uh, and set up, uh, it's like and setteth up over over it the bases of men, you know, and you know, like like uh, the brother, me and the brother was talking earlier, you know, you know that's that 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 a uh, bases of men, you know. Uh, if you want to break that down, brother, as far oh, yeah. as the, the bases. Okay, I'm getting a definition. In the, oh, oh, so I can get right here. You know, because, hey, the Lord showed his power in setting up this devil, you know, in, in the basement of the planet, you know, and putting him in a uh, high position of power, you know. But, you know, he also going to show his power in bringing us up, you know, because right now we at the bottom of the barrel, you know. Uh, it's another scripture that say I've seen uh, service upon horses, and uh, horse I men and uh, kings walking as ser servants upon the earth. You know, you got Esau; he in a high position, man, on his high horse, so to speak, while we at the bottom. But you know, uh, yeah, like you see right here, you got it where you can touch the screen. And yeah, yeah, come, come. You just wanna play it? Mm -hmm. Strong's H eighty two fifteen. Shafal. Shafal. All right, and it say uh, Shafal, which is uh, the low or lowest, you know, and we go into the root word, like, because that's what you saw the Edom is, man. He's the lowest uh, being on the planet, man, you know, and the root word is say, uh, it's the same word it says uh, Shafal. Shafal. Uh, well, we don't have to use that one because, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, that's off uh, but yeah, you know, so that's, that's, you know, the Lord set this devil up, man, you know, and he think that he got it by his own strength, you know, he, he's proud, you know, because he's been lifted up. Let me tell you that in uh, Isaiah, the 10th chapter, you know, the acts boasting itself against him that he was, the Lord is the one that's, uh, that's setting this devil up, man. He's going to be the one that bring him down. Uh, you know, and, 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 you know, to add to what the brother said, you know. Uh, uh, um, the Lord put us in this in, in this condition, just like how He's gonna put Esau in His condition in our kingdom, man. You know, because 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 we went off and didn't follow, you know, didn't didn't uh, keep His law, statutes, and commandments, and we were cursed, okay? And we're still cursed to this day, you see. And that's why and that's why we're at the lowest, you know, pretty much at you know at the bottom toll, at so like at the bottom pole in Esau's queendom, you know. I mean, most of it is 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 uh, uh, it's like, and also it's because of his hatred that he has against Jacob. You know, because no matter what's going on in the world, this is all about a uh, 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 Jacob. So like, a uh, uh, yeah, Jacob versus Esau, man. You know, all of this is about Jacob versus Esau, man. You know, and so and so even even in our even in our kingdom, man. You know, we're gonna rule over him for you know you know for a thousand years, you know, and 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 and, and then he's gonna get eradicated. Uh, damn, to pull that scripture one. too. You got it. Okay. Uh, we don't have that one. I got. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and, 14, and 12, it says, uh, For this, for thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, 
those they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk in it. Uh, and that's talking about the nation of Israel. You know, our, our original lives should be the rulers over the earth. You know, but since we transgressed the Father, Heavenly Father's laws, and you know, He He uh, passed judgment upon us. And that cup is referring to the cup of uh, slavery, the curses. You know, so it says, uh, "And art thou He that shall altogether go unpunished?" He said, "Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt drink, shall surely drink of it." All right, and that's talking about Esau, uh, Edom, man. You know. He's not going to go unpunished. Like, even though he's been living it up for so long here in America, you know, and it just seemed like his rulership ain't going to have no end. You know, we starting to see uh, the end in manifest, man. You know, every, everything is going downhill in Esau society, man. It's going, hey, things are going just going to get worse, you know, to the point where, hey, this place will be destroyed. You know, he's going to drink of that cup, man. You know, starting with the elites, you know, in the, in the kingdom to come. Con, con, you know, and, um, we're going to end it off with this one. This is uh, the book of Daniel, unless you unless you got something else too, brother. Um, it's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, okay? Okay? So it says, uh, uh, um, and possess the kingdom forever and even ever and ever, okay? So 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 just like I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, um, um, the Lord rules over the kingdoms of men. You see what I'm saying? Well, it's like it, well, you know, rules over all kingdoms, you see? And, and 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 the kingdom to come, you know, you, you see that the kingdom of Israel, all right, is gonna be is gonna also be ruled over by by you know the, the heavenly Father Yahweh, you see, with his son on earth, you know, as as the king, man, Yahweh Shai, you see, and 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 but our but our kingdom, the bounds of our kingdom is gonna be forever and even never and never, you see, yeah, that's right, because we're gonna rule it, we're gonna rule it through a uh, 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 um, um, righteousness, man. Not 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 wickedness and and, and and a death and terror, man, and horror. You see, but but Esau is gonna feel that, man. Just just like how we feel, you know, you know the the uh, uh, um the pressure, the hatred from 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 uh, uh, um Esau in our kingdom, he's gonna feel that from us, man. You know, but times too, like the scriptures say, you know. Right. Yeah. You know, scriptures tell you, man, that uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people more. Kind. That's the reason why you got a lot of people uprising against uh, the government. You know, you, you see the sedition taking place with the protests against the coronavirus. That's because the wicked is in power. All right? So the Lord is coming back to take this wicked man out of power, you know, and establish uh, righteousness. All right? And the whole earth is going to rejoice in that, in that day and time. You know, even when you go back to Isaiah 14, the original chapter, you know, we started out with, it, it tell you, in fact, uh, tell you uh isaiah 14 and, and three we we'll start at three it says and it shall come to pass that in that day the lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve and thou shalt take up this parable against the king of babylon and say how is the oppressor cease and the golden city cease talking about america you know it says the lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepters of the rulers who smote the people in wrath for the continual stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Right, and the main point is right here, verse 7. It says, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. You know, because we're going to be in rulership. The righteous are going to be ruling. You know, so, hey, we have to, we have to end this devil's uh, queendom, man. You know, so, hey, we rejoice in that. Con, con. You know, I know there's another one in this chapter about the, uh, about going into to slavery. Uh, well, let's see. well, that's going into something else, but, you know, we'll pretty much end it off there. You know, like I said, through the spirit, it was just a, you know, a short lesson based off the video, the, the uh, Wale video. Brothers, go check it out. Um, you know, if you can, uh, I'll leave a link into the, uh, in, in the uh, description box so brothers can check it out. You know, it's a spiritual video because it, you know, it shows, it sh you know, it just shows a prequel of the the the, the role reversals between Jacob and Esau, you know. Right. So, um, with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash, Shalom, and Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball.